Can I go first? Sure. Like, I just want to hijack a minute. Thomas, I was going to do the thank yous, but I'll do the very quick thank you to Thomas and DevFest Asia for existing and helping us because we probably wouldn't be here without him. This is the, the last DevFest Asia event. We had 20 of those. Um, like small meetups, big meetups, like just coffee this morning, the Kopi JS. We had big conferences with almost 300 people on Thursday and Friday. There was madness. Um, I had an awesome team helping me with all of that, that I couldn't have done it without it. Um, so next year is going to look a bit different. We learned a lot of things, I guess. Um, but the conferences definitely will be back for sure, and DevFest as a, as a website will be still there for sure as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to that part. Now, for those of you who went to a DevFest event other than this one before, just to see. All right, all right reasonable, reasonable. Uh, who came to one of the two big conferences, CSSConf, JSConf? Who didn't get a photon? <laughs> yeah. Really? No, I give mine away. Oh, wait, why did you do that? <laughs> okay, I should have brought more then. <laughs> because I heard like some people didn't get one but really wanted one. I um, got spares and amount other people. Yeah, like I brought. I, I have still a few more spares, but I thought like, well, I'm just going to. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so yeah, well, there are two already. I don't know, have I just throw them here and the see what The first person to knock Thomas to the ground gets one. Go <laughs> <laughs> in. Uh, yeah, that's a good answer. So who doesn't have one? Probably oh. half the year. Like, I'll go with the ones that checked in first. <laughs> who brought their wristband today? <laughs> you too. Waging. Waging, okay. I, ca I, cannot I couldn't take it off. You, you helped anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I had to cut mine off, otherwise I would have she, it back She hosted off. CSS Con, did a really good job, so well done. Thank you. Um, who else wanted one and checked already in? I checked in on Wednesday. <laughs> mm, okay, well, check in is still there. <laughs> but let me know afterwards. I still have one here, otherwise, like, mail me. I still have a few at home, if you wanted one. And then thanks for coming to that fest. That was really, really good. Good fun. Thank you, Thomas. Now, this is our first Talk CSS. The plan is to have one approximately once per month. Um, at this point, we open the floor to any announcements. Is anyone hiring or got anything interesting to job say? Bot, job, bot, job, bot. job. Oh, yeah. Anyone want to hire someone? Anyone? If you do in future, then this is your chance, basically. Um, so think about that for next time. Are there specific things you want to know about for next time, actually? Because I was thinking of doing a talk next time. Oh. Yes, and yes, I would yes, love yes. to know what about. I'll get to that, because I was going to get to that. I've already got two speakers lined up for our next one. Um, we'll be, we will be back in January. We're going to take a break for next month. Um, so you won't hear anything from us for a little while. Um, next year we've got some pretty awesome speakers lined up already, which is, I mean, Talk CSS has been around for about three weeks now, four yep. weeks if that. And we've already got stuff planned into April next year, which is insane. Efficient. Yeah, but there's demand for this to exist, so it exists, basically. That's the only reason we're here. Um, I, I meant to thank the speakers, but I'm one and you're yeah, one. And thank sorry, you, Zell. It's just us. <laughs> sorry, 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 guys. We're staff. We won't speak next time. How's yeah. that? <laughs> We'll get professionals. <laughs> We're cheap. <laughs> yeah, enough jokers. <laughs> um, thank you, Michael, for recording us. Yeah, yeah. engineers, SG, everybody. Yeah. Hackerspace for providing venue. Um, His wife for giving us popcorn. Yes, if you've had popcorn. <laughs> if not, crack stop now because it's awesome. <laughs> Me for marrying her. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have started off on basically nothing. We still have basically nothing. If you, we don't have any sponsors, we don't have venues. We're, we've got some speakers, but if you're interested in speaking, doesn't matter if you've spoken in front of anyone but your mirror before, then contact one of us. Can't be any worse than me, so yeah, <laughs> just speak. The, the big myth about people who stand up and talk about in front of other people is that they know something more than anyone else, but it is a myth. Um, I've got no idea what I'm doing. No one else does either. Yeah. He made it <laughs> I, I even managed to fool Thomas into getting me to speak at JSConf last year. That's yeah. how. JSConf, right? JSConf. With all forms, was JSConf. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So here I am doing CSS. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> went downhill from there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you want to speak, if you're interested, and it doesn't need to be anything revolutionary. Something I'm interested in doing here is, um, I'm from Perth in Australia and the development community is about three people. Um, so coming here to Singapore, it's awesome just to see people that are really keen to do stuff. And I've noticed there are lots of beginners out there as well. Um, having done this for about 19 years now, I take a lot of things for granted. I've been doing this longer than CSS has been around. Um, but other people are just starting out. So what I'd like to do at least once every meetup is just to cover a basic, like a fundamental. Um, and that's something that, you know, CSS even if... CSS huh? <laughs> <laughs> But that, that's, a, that's a topic that if, you know, just grab something like cascades that not everyone necessarily understands very well and that's enough to turn into a bit of a talk. Um, you know, learn about it yourself, even if you don't know. Um, it's a great opportunity to find things out. Um, we're also after some helpers if you'd like to volunteer. Thank you, timekeeper. <laughs> our, our basic <laughs> leaving the country after this, that's how. Never coming back. Yeah, no. That's a bad role. Don't do timekeeping. Um, sponsors would be awesome. If your company has some space and you'd like to host about this number of people, we'd love to hear from you. Um, otherwise, you know, we can give you a couple of minutes to put your logo on this screen if you get us some popcorn next time. Um, anything along those lines, please get in touch as well. Let us know what you'd like to hear. As Thomas said, he'd, he'd like to tell us stuff. Um, what do you want Thomas to say? But he, he can be, you know, slot the coin in, say the funny thing. I can do a lot of UX stuff. That's like my no. typical talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About optimistic design and stuff, which is not necessarily directly CSS, but more but about... We're, we're front end. We can cover yeah. stuff that's... Because it's you have to implement it on the front end okay. sooner or later. Whereas JS gets a lot more all over the place these days, so I don't think it's a bad thing if we bend the rules a bit. Um, what else do I need to mention? We build.sg if you want to find out what's going on around the place, because they are awesome. Um, anything I've missed? Anything? Use Flexbox. Always. You always <laughs> use Flexbox. Flexbox, yes. Flexbox, everybody. Well, I, just, I mean, there's probably not the right question right now, but because I've, I've come back to CSS after a long time away, and I, when I was last using it, I was using Floats a lot. Should we never use Floats then, anymore and just use Flexbox? Is that it? Floats okay, are good when you want to float an image in line of text. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, like from the basic idea of what Floats were come up, came up with. Because, I mean, CSS is, and, and HTML is about print. Um, yeah, floats are great for that. And for shapes as well, we have to still use it. Um, for, now. for now. But that's because you are floating yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think the point is, trying. when people started using CSS floats for layout, it was actually a hack, because there was no good way yes. to do layouts on the web. And then, so I think Flexbox was born out of that, that we wanted to come up with a proper way of doing layout. And um, as far as I know right now, I know there are, because the implementation was spotty across different browsers, that's why auto prefixer is actually very, very helpful. Because you don't, you don't I, I can't remember all the different, if you want to support all the way back, all the different um, prefixing. So um, for now, it's IE9 and beyond so until most I think for, as I work in an agency most of our contracts go modern browser and two behind so it kind of still stuck because we have to support nine but once we get past that then we are in the clear. Nine does flexbox pretty well though. Nine? Yeah. Nine does flexbox pretty well if you use all the projects. Like. Eight is a bad one right? Yeah. Yeah. It does. Okay. Eight, so eight's the, nine's kind of disappearing. By the time we have our next talk CSS, you won't have well, to officially <laughs> support yeah. nine or ten. So yeah. we're in the age of Flexbox now. We are, we're yes. pretty much there. Yeah. And don't use grids. Whatever, whoever wants to sell you grids, oh, like yeah, there's one grids use case when you want to use a, the native CSS grids, and nobody ever has that use case. So by default, use Flexbox, don't use grids. Like yeah. the, the time where we use center layouts, <laughs> white space left and right, I don't know, like, people came up with that stuff because they wanted to fit in a certain resolution screen and then the screens got bigger and there was white space and for some reason it's still the default style on how every other website works is this centered column in the middle of the, the site. No one knows how to go and wide, they don't know what to do. Yeah, and like with Flexbox you can use the entire screen 
like and put your content it's really easy to make it responsive because it's by default kind of like just use flexbox whenever <laughs> flexbox specifically on mobile advocates. like specifically there almost give a talk <laughs> well i just did use flexbox. Is it <laughs> quick demo in praise of flexbox cuz if i full screen this and this is work in progress so it's going to break at some point or other um <laughs> It, the top bit breaks, as you saw before, because it's the same template. So we can go down pretty small. And this is, this is all entirely Flexbox, all of this. And I'm, I'm new to Flexbox as of about three weeks ago. Um, I mean, I've been doing this forever, but, you know, I, I work for an insurance company. Our clients are so conservative, they're the last ones to let go of IE7. So we have to hang on to stuff until they're officially not around anymore. So this is fine, you start getting a bit wider. Again, Flexbox, look at that, goes from, you know, straight out list into, suddenly we've got a grid. It's getting a bit more human as we're getting bigger. Oh yeah, for Flexbox, the only thing you need to think about is that you can't use the bottom, padding bottom or padding top pack. Yeah, and the only thing that I've, my way of getting around that is to um, actually put the padding inside things if I can grab a container. Yeah. So I've actually got a container inside the flexed thing and the padding and the margins are applied to that so you don't get any overflow problems. It took me a bit to work that out. It was a bit annoying because I thought it would just be magic. But yeah, it's, it's not it's like that. Firebox. Yeah. It does work in nine in my tests. Maybe I've tested badly. Maybe I don't know. Filled it without knowing. No, I don't have any polyfills yet. Anyway. Alright. How's that? Accidental demo. Um, I was going to do a brief thing at the end to ask people stuff. Um, what's your editor of choice? Sublime Text 3. And why? Because it's fast. Mine's the same, and because it's quick and it's got plugins and stuff. Sell. Sublime text. <laughs> <laughs> Winner. Vim, man. Come on, Vim. <laughs> you're, you're the one man using the Windows the guru policy. Uses Vim, on, the Vim. guru uses Vim. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for turning up as well. Uh, like, uh, Non-programming background, so we can't use Vim. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Command lines. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you everybody for showing up. Didn't expect so many of you to turn up, so I'm really, really appreciative that y'all, you know, showed up to listen. So we weren't talking to mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh yes, you can ask us, and we don't know, so we can just sit there and say we don't know either. You can discuss it. Google is your friend. <laughs> Google. Do not go to w3schools.com. Oh, Please use MDN. Never go yes. to w3schools.com. Never look anything up about waste technology without MDN. Of they just yes. had really yeah. good SEO. Mozilla all. Developer Network is a great start. Don't, yeah, yeah, W3 School's bad. Great. No one's been able to work out why the SEO is so yeah, good. Yeah. So you should investigate that. I, I've looked How into it and it's How do you get the first hit every time? They must know, like, Larry Ellison. No, no, who's the <laughs> Google guy? Wrong one. This is all that bit. Larry Page. Larry Page. Oracle, Oracle is yeah. Larry Ellison, right? Yeah. That's so cheap. Thank you, everyone. We can mill around and eat popcorn. And <laughs> I haven't had any. <laughs>